uh, the corridor study is a tool that can be used by any of the districts out there. It's looking at what's there, where the problems are, and just how deep do we need to dig and get down to the root of the problem to address it. So we come back with a product that will last another 20 years. It's really an in-depth analysis of the existing pavement structure and it looks at the durability of the pavement or in this case the t deterioration level of the pavement and and looking at that we're going back with some new strategies that's being recommended and applying those to the roadway to, to reconstruct it. The I-20 corridor, the pavement structure is just aging, the, the truck traffic's increased, so it, it's a continual process to try to find the funds to rehab the roadway to a sufficient level to catch up with today's time. We've uh, taken cores and looked at what the pavement structures consist of. We've looked at the old plans as far as what was built. In one particular case, we stopped right before a, a project that was uh, performed several years ago were a Petra mat. Typically when we pull that Petra mat off, we have problems. The stability of the pavement structure is fine underneath that pavement, underneath that Petra mat. So we're just going down to that level and thus reducing the amount of rehab dollars that we have to invest in that particular section of roadway. So it does help. It, it has uh, improved the, uh, the overall uh, forensics of the project to see how far we need to go. It's a viable tool to use and, uh, you know, some investigation and some time to, uh, to look into the use of TTI in the uh, development of a program like this. Uh, it's worthwhile because it, like I said, it gives you a chance to prioritize your, your needs. Because of limited dollars, we're actually being able to concentrate on those up front and looking into the future as far as where do these pavements, as they age, which ones do we need to attack next. It's not just limiting it to an interstate type project it could be applied to any major roadway in the state.